This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Since StreamView surround lighting became a thing over a year ago, which was a software redesign that converts Gobi light products such as the T1, G1, T2, and the AS Sync box into sync center hubs, I've had the chance to test out a lot of separately sold supported products from wall panels, table lamps, Y lights, light bulbs, and so on. And while in general, pretty much all of Gobi's new product rollouts work very well with the surround lighting system, every now and then, something comes along that shines brighter than the vast majority. For this video, the neon LED rope desk light is that new star in the Gobi lineup that we'll be focusing on, which I actually initially showcased during my AI Syncbox review. But this time around, we'll go a little bit more in depth to better highlight why this new rope light has become my absolute favorite surround lighting add-on to date, for not just my desk setup, but for my living room media center as well. We'll cover off on the specs, the setup, sync center performance, live demonstrations, and we'll draw some comparisons against the original Neon Rope Light, which was released over a year ago. So at the moment, the Neon LED Rope Desk Light, model H61C3, is only being offered in a 10-foot or 3-meter length version. But the good news is that if your desktop or media stand is a little smaller, you can still get a near-perfect fit because it can actually be cut anywhere along the designated markings indicated on the rope. And if you need more length than 10 feet, a 16 foot or five meter version is planned to be released in Q3. As with the original neon rope, there are 84 LEDs per meter. However, the new model uses a completely different light emission technology. Rather than having the inner light strip facing to the side, as with the original, the new model uses a backfiring emission design. In short, this means that the inner light strip is actually facing downward. This allows the light to shine down and bounce off the bottom and the sides of the silicone diffuser housing, which reduces glare and the perceived brightness to the naked eye. You'll also notice that this new model is much wider and lies more flush than the older version, so it hugs the edges and the corners of a surface much more seamlessly. And it does not use clips as with the original model. You'll notice that there's a gummy clear adhesive applied directly to the back of the diffuser housing, so you won't have to worry about scraping your skin on any plastic clips. The unit ships inside of a compact midnight hue themed box. At a glance, here's what's included inside. We have the manual, quick start guide, and Gobi service card. An internal angle cover for non-uniform desk, as well as several cable clips. An extra end cap used to seal the diffuser in the event that you need to cut it. The 24 volt AC power adapter. And finally, the neon desk rope itself which has one of the ends attached to a remote with three physical buttons, one for power, the second to toggle in between colors, and the third to adjust the brightness. You can set up the neon desk rope light in less than five minutes. It's literally just as simple as peeling back the red adhesive covering so you can attach it to your tabletop border. However, if you're planning on using it predominantly for surround lighting, I recommend adding the device to the Gobi Home app and assigning it to a designated sync center before cutting or attaching the rope light anywhere because you want to make sure that the IC segments line up with your display backlight as best as possible. Inside the sync center, for every separately sold product, there are six customizable boxes or segments that you can assign. What I like to do is start off by splitting those boxes right down the middle. So for example, I assigned one side to zone two and the other to zone three. So the area between zone two and zone three is your center point, which is the precise area that you want to be centered with your display. I like to mark this spot on the back of the rope using a Sharpie and then carefully splice that red covering using a box cutter or open pair of scissors. And then I start applying the rope light from the middle of the tabletop rather than from one of the sides. Now one caveat to this, if you need to cut the rope, when you recalibrate it inside the app, that center point that we mark with the Sharpie might be repositioned depending on how much of the rope was cut. If you find that to be the case for you, I recommend recalibrating the rope once more. You'll simply go inside the calibration section of the device and when it asks if the tip is showing green, select yes from the very start. Even though in actuality, you won't see a green tip at all because you've already cut it off. Now this might cause a couple of more advanced scenes not to function 100% correctly. But in my experience, the vast majority of scenes perform perfectly using this method. And I plan on using the desk rope light 80% of the time for syncing TV colors anyway. So in my case, the trade-off is more than worth it. Whatever your passion is, whatever your expertise may be, be it a service, product, etc., 
Squarespace can provide you with the tools to build a professional and legible website or domain that is both reflective of your brand and geared towards helping you achieve your goals, be it monetary or otherwise. You do not need to have an ounce of experience with coding or graphics design or anything of the like because Squarespace has some of the best in class customizable website templates, housing beautiful imagery and artwork to help you build a clean and professional online presence. Head over to Squarespace today to discover how simple it truly is to build a website or domain from the ground up. As far as non-color sync features go, the A61C3 model offers 11 unique music sync features when the internal mic controller is used, and three primary rhythm effects when the audio is being captured by your cell phone, and you're able to adjust sensitivity for all of these effects across the board. In the Color tab, you'll have control over all 15 dedicated segments of the rope, which is something that I really wish was carried over into the sync center to allow for even more granular zone mapping in line with the backlight. As far as scenes go, there's currently a whopping 82 scenes to choose from at the moment, and it's usually always the case that that list continues to grow as time goes on. And then we have the DIY section app, which allows for building out custom scenes from the ground up using a wealth of tools such as finger sketch, crossing, color chasing, etc. Demo. Mr. Just. As I mentioned at the top of the video, the Gobi LED Desk Light is currently my favorite separately sold product to use for DreamView surround lighting. I really love the glow created from the inverse light emission technology, how sleek it is versus the original, and how snugly it hugs the corners of my tabletop. When I first started testing it out with the AI sync box, I was worried that I might find it too distracting for gaming and watching movies. But the redesigned housing truly does create a non-invasive and very comfortable light glow below my display. Marketed and labeled as a desktop rope light, I look at the H61C3 model as much more than that, because in addition to media centers, I can really see this product fitting the bill for square countertops in your home or even coffee tables if you have a nearby outlet to power it. I also really like how it virtually vanishes against my light surfaces when it's not in use, maintaining a clean and sleek look throughout the day. If you're new to the channel and you want more details on my setup or any additional tips and tricks in general for DreamView, I'll drop a few links down below, as well as a few links for products referenced throughout the video. If you have any specific follow-ups, make sure to hit the comment box. As always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey.